<laughs> well, welcome everybody. Welcome oh. to the Christmas special. Merry Christmas. Oh. Oh. <laughs> As usual, we're not going to catch knuckle because Jimmy's here. Yeah. Well, it's one of us. Can you tell which one? Father Cosmos. Father Cosmos. <laughs> So we got all we got with us here today, guys. Come on, oh, identify yourselves because they can't see shit. Father, right, Godfather, at your service, Jimmy Cobright, Big Dan Sea Fishing, as he calls me, <laughs> which is wrong. <laughs> UK Sea Fishing with Big Dan. <laughs> we got on the end here. New yeah. one, pitching cost. Yeah, Father Blackness. <laughs> come on, Wolfman, come on. Come on, Wolfman. Come on. Come on, let's have you. It is Santa's little elf. We got a newbie. <laughs> Santa's little elf. <laughs> we got a newbie to the YouTube know. world. Fresh out of Compton. You got Wolfman. Is it Wolfman's fishing? Yes. Or Wolfman fishing? Wolfman. Wolfman fishing. And obviously, you got me. One man on his rod, I forgot then. <laughs> <laughs> no, he gets the rod in last. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a little bit different this time, folks, so we hope you enjoy it. Uh, and as usual, if what happens, we'll be right back. <laughs> well, we're just after a Christmas whopper. <laughs> <laughs> if we get out, guys, we'll be back later with a bit of body. That is definitely getting stuck to my rod. You're straight out to your rod, your rod's going in sea. <laughs> <laughs> right. Santa's sack. It's not very it's not very sack like. Never yeah, mind, you're not having them. They love. Yeah. Get any, get I don't know if they'll still be live, yeah, but yeah. what does Santa read? Apparently, Santa reads Daily Hile. <laughs> I mean, Mail. <laughs> oh, Kim, come on! Right, carry your bags full of all my scraps. So that's what I'll be working my way through first. But these are courtesy of Hooker's Baits. And you've got four. Oh. Kind of yeah, God. Da! <laughs> <laughs> I need them. And there's some mussels if you want some mussels. Some squid. But these gold packs, you've got the little mini things that I think are fucking great. And that's their full size wraps, oh, which goes to show how I'll big, how I'll big I'm yeah. making my wraps compared well, to our compared to that compared to our pros, mate. Yeah. Wow. So get what you get. What have a rummage through. Have a have Thank a you feel. Really it, put your hand in my sack <laughs> and see if you can get a worm and see if there's what you want to use. What we got? Squid and sand deal. That's what it. That's what worked for me last week. I'll be having a crack at that, thanks very much. Cheers, Russ. Ah, is that a mini one? Yeah. Get two if you want another mini one. Sorry, mate. I've got, I've got plenty of it. So You've got okay. plenty. Cheers, pal. Oh. Right, I suppose, seems as everybody else has... I haven't got rigged up yet. I'm no, I ain't got rigs on yeah, yet. Yeah. I've got legs on. I haven't got my reels on. Oh, I've done all that. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I can't do it. No, no. I it. can't do it. Yeah. You're welcome. The Santa suit can stay on. But everything else has got to come off. Oh, it's lovely and warm. Right. We've come. <laughs> no setup time lapse. Right, we've come to where are we? On to South End. We've just done all this. I'm going to get rigged up and get fishing. What have I come in here for? Rigs. So one of them and one of them. So my rig choices of today are going to be a three hook clip down and a pulley panel. So let's get rigged up. I'm going to have to bring you with me in case I need the light. Yep. 
There is, yeah. Santa's got pockets. Oh! Well, too late. I've tied this wrong. I always do this with bloody pedal rigs. I just have to cut that swivel off and put a thermal link on. Yeah, me. <coughs> yeah, I tied these in a bit of a rush this afternoon, and I've, I've messed up a little bit. And put the wrong end on. Bugger. I'll find that in a minute. I'll try and find it in a minute. Apologies for any heavy breathing. Like I say, I'm full of fluey, coldy ick at the moment This ain't Costa del Barbados. Huh? This ain't Costa del Barbados. You want it sat back on sand? What is this? Yeah. You're not supposed to use them like a parasol. I know, but it's not. You can't dig in. Oh, that's true. This is true. Let's see what's in Santa's box. See what we got. Squid and black, that'll do. <laughs> so this is one of Hooker's pre-made baits. And it's a little bit still frozen. But we're gonna try and get it on anyway. And this is squid and black lug. just because, well, because it's the first one I picked up primarily. And there we go. Easy as that. It's already bit elastic up. It's good to go. Ready, fishing, sorted, done. 
So what I was saying in my last video from the shed where we looked at the bait as it came, that's how I'm sending it. I think that's the right thing to do. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's send it. Straight off the bat, I'm trying with a four ounce lead, so this will be interesting. I'm not kidding, you'll be swimming. number one out with a four ounce lead on let's see if it holds tip light Four ounces holding dead straight. I think. I can't see anything because I haven't got any lights on yet. What's next? Other rig. That's what's next. And I'm going to need another bait clip before I walk over there. It's now empty. Go in there.
Oh, I've already caught myself twice. Why not crimp that crimp? I shall have to crimp that crimp in a second. So this one. Uh, initially, I always start out with a four. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of wishful thinking that it'll that it'll hold. I'm using five. It's not holding. Oh, my four is. He says. I went straight and it's moved a little bit, but not much. Is it a gripper for? Ah, mine's a gripper. <laughs> so I fished onto North and South. This is South, the second time at South. Yeah. And both North and South have had good sessions for me. Yeah. See, but I'm not expecting big things today because we're on a small tide. I've been to Easington, it's where I can get to. Because obviously, yeah. with me back and everything else, I just can't do it. Yeah. I've got a trolley in the car, but I carry everything on, yeah. which is brilliant. Quid. Yeah, they're not cheap, are they? No. It's the wheels that you're paying for. The wheels are the expensive part. Well, this is all um, box frame. Yeah. Um, I put the box on, it don't move. No matter yeah. if you try and tip it, yeah. it won't move. It's got sides on it. Oh, man, I've got sides on it. Yeah. Um, it's got a rack at the back where the handle goes. Yeah. So you can put your rods and your bivy. Um, and then it's got a good section at the front where you can get all your bait and everything else. Oh, mine's, mine's not that big, but like it I say, folds with, it down. Like with mine, it's um, you pay for wheels because it's got the big low, low psi wheels. Each wheel's like that big. Yeah. Across. See, mine are, mine are about yeah. yay big. But um, I got I got that one for low psi wheels for walking down Bonkers Bank because you're walking across a marsh. Right. So I never fished there. It's one hell of a trek. Yeah, I don't do treks. Try not to anyway. Fish turn. Just gonna put camera on time lapse on Rob. Yeah, tips. no worries. I'm listening.
Well, just reeled in. Uh, nothing. Well, so just reeled in. Just brought in one. It's just time to change a bait. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's untouched. But what I wanted to mention is I said I wasn't sure whether I needed to put extra elastic on with those ready made baits. And now the bait is still on there. Still on there, lovely and firm. I'll be honest, I was trying to put off rebaiting because Marcus has gone to get some fish and chips for us all. Because he's nice like that. He's not paying, but you know, can't have it all. <sighs> and uh, yeah, I was trying to put off rebaiting. Because I didn't want to have grubby, horrible hands to eat my fish and chips with. But needs must. Needs must. And then I'm going to bring in the other one that I'd live lug on. And I'm going to try some of the little match pack baits. Don't know which one, I'll see which one I pick up and I'll show you them in use because they're, they're great, I like them, I think they're great. But I've got to say, you know, if you're not too confident on how to make your baits, even if you only do it once, order some pre made wraps because it, it surprised me and uh, sort of having a chat with the other fellas on YouTube and they were sort of having a look through the box. And they were surprised at just how small the pro-made baits are versus what it is that we, we, we make. It was quite astonishing, actually. I need to get a different handle for this. It's far too small. The only reason I'm not, well, I am actually going to walk down with it because I need to dip the. So these little match baits, they come on cocktail stick. And what I've tried to do is use the cocktail stick in the past, sort of as a baiting needle. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's not what it's there for, but if it works, I think it helps actually if they're a little bit more defrosted than they are currently. And they just slide off the matchstick. Let's see what I have done before. Did that top up? Oh, it did release. It's just really hooked itself. I'm reeling. Give me one minute. Oh, it's going to come up. I was going to come up and give you an hand down. No, that might not be yours. If yours has got curry, it's a special one. I love this. That's, that's plain. Sauce, no. Right, then give it to the thing. That's Dan's. That's another sausage. That's another fish. Oh, sorry. Both fish. Right, there's napkin wipes in there and forks in the boxes. Cheers, Mocker, thank you. That's you. Right. 
that's fine. We don't owe you though, do we? I've got that. Do you want reeling in? Why, I've got my bike. No, but do you want reeling in? Oh, yeah, please. That fish is lovely. Oh. Oh, this. Go. Right guys, I'm going to turn you off for a little bit, have some supper, sort Marcus out and I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, just thought I'd come back uh, <clears throat> and just quickly say, you know, not a great deal's going on. Wolfman, he's had a, a couple of fish, a little dab, a little rockling. Uh, do remember to head over to his channel, I'll put a link in the description down below. Yes, I've had to take the wig and beard off couldn't see anything um, and I wouldn't have been able to eat my fish and chips we've just had some banging fish and chips um, yeah I, I'm seeing nothing but we've just gone over low water so we're now on the flood Marcus you need to walk that way not really but you were walking up towards me it's easy done I usually follow me other line. That's what I'm just looking at now. Look over your other shoulder. It's easier. Boy, you'll see. I don't know if it's showing up, if the rod tips are showing up. Ignore the flashy flashy. There's a lot of wave noise. But the, the furthest tip, I've purposely got a soft tip on that's got a three up clip down on it with three of the little match baits on it. I've got uh, squid and sand eel on. He's still made his way over to underneath me. Um, but I, I think, to be honest, I'm overcasting it. I think I'm sending it too far. But the water will start deepening up now, and hopefully that'll bring in some bigger fish. The sea looks good for bass, schooly bass, although I don't really like catching schooly bass out of season. Um, but the sea does look back good for a bass. Uh, What's well, good for a cod to be fair, there's just not, there's not, it's not a big tide, so. There's not a great deal going on. So what I'm gonna do, I just, uh, just wanted to come back and say hi. I'm gonna leave you on the rod tips and I'm gonna sort of go and have a cup of tea and have a stroll down beach, go see Gaz, Shane, Jimmy, We've got Dan. I'll give you another rundown because I know we did it in the intro, but I'll give you another one. We've got UKC Fishing with Big Dan, he's next door but one. We've got Pitch and Cast, Marcus, uh, next to me. We've got uh, Wolfman Fishing uh, to my other side. Just uh, beyond him is Shane, the homeless codfather. Just beyond him is Gaz. Uh, just beyond him is Jimmy, Codbites. Um, so we know me and Shane are going to blank because Jimmy's here. That was me. I keep the tripod. Oh, look a bite! Oh, look a bite! <laughs> anyway, rather than fill up the video with time lapses, I'm going to turn you off. I'm going to go sit and have a cup of tea. So, um, I'm not going to be very talky talky tonight because, in all honesty, I was very close to calling the whole thing off tonight. For myself, not, you know, not to spoil everybody else's trip. Uh, but uh, I was I was very close to cancelling and saying I can't make it because I just feel that lousy. Um, but we've come. I've still come. I don't know. I think I might just fish it up to high and go home. Um, high is about half eleven, quarter to twelve-ish. 
by which point it'll be a bit cold so we'll have to wait and see but uh, see how I feel I mean if the fish come on it all changes doesn't it but uh, so we intended on coming down here for crack and having a bit of a laugh more so that than, than actually fishing um, and then we've all ended up sitting in the shelters and been boring to sods because it's a bit nippy it's a wee bit nippy so Dan's just gone live on TikTok so I'm going to put my wig and beard back on and go invade his TikTok no, I'll do it in a little bit I'm going to have a cup of tea first so guys, I'll talk to you in a bit hopefully I'll hopefully, well, hopefully the next clip you'll see will not be me with a boring sit rep Hopefully the next clip you'll see. Actually, you know what? I will do a time lapse. We're on the flood now. Hopefully it'll bring the fish on. Um, yeah. I'll speak to you in a bit. I've got to get used to that having a soft tip on again. I haven't fished with a with a with a with a thin tip for months. And it's just getting used to seeing wobble on it again. I'll speak in a bit.
Okay, guys, just sort of come back. Um, I've gone from being 100% sure that I'm not going to get washed off to being 50% sure that I'm not going to get washed off. This tide is getting very, very close and we're still two and a half hours away from high. Uh, I'll be honest, if we get washed off, I'm just going to have to pack down and I'll, have to, I'll be in the car. That'll be it for me today. If I get washed off. If I don't get washed off, if I don't get washed off, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll keep pushing on. Um, but yeah, this tide's getting, this water's getting very, very close. And it's only meant to be a small tide. But yeah, it's very close. In fact, to tell you what, while we're here, I'll reel in. Because I'm due a reel in anyway. Well, I've overdue a reel in. Now then, let's have a look which way around, are we? This way. Well, it's to be hoped. But I've just, I've just, you know, I've just said to the guys on video, I says, if I get washed off, I'll be going home. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, as a preemptive measure, I think I'm gonna pack my shelter down and stuff. Yeah. Because I think it's looking like a very strong possibility. Anyway, I'll, um, yeah, you'll get your uh, home and get warm. Off. I'm going to say goodbye to uh, Jill. Yeah. And, um, I'm not going to go any further than that. Is that the lucky bit? Oh. That's the lucky bit. <laughs> <laughs> the lucky strand of Santa Claus. Yeah. Right. See you later, mate. I'm going to have to start thinking about prepping for having to move. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll get some fresh bait on this one first. What the? Oh yeah. Wow, the tide has really done a number on this bait. Look okay, at for leaving it out that long.
I'll get this casted out and I'll have to start getting uh, moved. Right. Are you? You had hope? Uh, I've had fuck all. Was you Nothing. Yeah. And it looks like I'm going to get washed off. Still two and a half hours away from high tide. Wow. But I think I'm going to use it as an excuse to disappear, to be honest. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I feel fucking lousy. Yeah. So I'm going to start loading the car up a bit at a time and. Yeah. Sort it out tomorrow. I might even move the car. It's a bit ice rinky. Oh. Dear me. Trials and tribulations, eh? Right. I'm not going to sit, make you sit through another time lapse because there's not a lot going on. So I'll turn you off and I'll switch you in a bit. Well, guys, that's going to be it from me today. Then we're going to have to pack you down. Uh, absolutely nothing going on. Nothing going on. Marcus, myself, and Dan, we've seen absolutely nothing. The other fellas, they've not had a bad session. Yeah, I'm starting to uh, be concerned that I'm not going to be able to get off the beach if I don't pack up soon. So I'm going to pack the camera away. So from me, it's Merry Christmas, tight lines, stay safe, and I'll see you later. And for back as pitch it and cast. Um, don't forget about the all light giveaway on the other video. Um, if you're not entered, do enter. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'm losing my voice. I'm not looking forward to this drive home through icy roads, so wish me luck. I'll see you later.